you doing up? Tell me, I had about you paying killers. Have you taken him? Tommy, look at me. Have you been crying? I'm fine. What's happened to all this positive thinking? Getting a job and looking forward to things. I am. I am. I'm, I'm going to. I just, just wish. Listen, listen. Things will get better, okay? There's too many good people up there who love us for things to keep going this wrong. Do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Come here. Come here. Stay at work. I'm going mad here. Can't remember if the bog roll holders fixed the inventory thing. Do you really think they're watching over us? Your dad, my granddad's. Yeah, I think they've just got distracted with something else. Knowing my granddad, Jeff, that probably means Blackpool play. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he can't see me. I'd hate him to see how much I've messed everything up. Right, that's bog roll holder fix. That's included. Chase, mate, we've got nowhere to go. Can't you just hold off the sale for a week? I'm so I'll give you notice. You'll have to sort some out. Why is everyone treating us like we killed someone? I'm starting to think it might have been better for you if I had been killed uh, in that accident. Don't you ever let me hear you say that again. Right? Ever. So, either this baby monitor is rubbish or our Ruby is turning into a bowl of Rice Krispies. Mm -hmm. I can't even remember who gave us that. It's only one up from tin cans and string. Oh, so you mean Ruby isn't turning into cereal? Pity. I'm starving. <laughs> like you'd swap her for anything, Mr Soppy. But it's your singing last night that's done for that monitor. I read her a story. I crept to the door and saw you. Rocking her and singing, you are my sunshine. Well, I may as well make the most of this bit until she realises I'm a total embarrassment. Where are you going? Until we get a new one of these, I'll be the baby monitor. You are I'm going to buy one of those that records. You want? You make me happy. Hey, Nick to the cabin. Let's get some stationery. I can take it out of the petty cash, OK? Here's your receipt. How serious were you yesterday? What about...? Being a surrogate for Izzy. Did you mean it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm serious. Well, I haven't really thought about it. Well, think about it now. How much? Well, I mean, you don't mess about. <laughs> so you expect me to do this out of the goodness of my heart? Five grand. <laughs> then the answer to that question is, uh, no, I wasn't that serious. It was me, Penny. Name your price, then. Go on. How much? Me and Tommy owe Tyrone money, right? We need to replace a van that he nearly died in, and we're about to be homeless. See, I like your Izzy, genuinely. But I can't go through that. Well, I have to know that I'm coming out the other side of it with a new start. And five grand isn't going to do that, will you? Yeah, boss. I'm going to get you one. You want one? And yours are the red sauce and you change three pound and one p. That's owed to me, Ta. That can go towards the deposit for a flat. Thanks. Right, we're gonna move this arc or what? Got a guy waiting in the Yeah, 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 come on. Yeah? Nice to see you putting that ream of paper to good Thank use. You scrap. Maths. That's promising. Not for you, it's not. I've been working out how much rent we can afford once we've been chucked out. Not that we've got a deposit. So? I'm not carrying your grandkid for five grand. Name your price. 30k. Give over. That's not expenses, love. That's extortion. Fine. Get a stranger off the internet. No, I'd rather get someone we know, someone I like. You, basically. You wouldn't let us down. 10k. Owen, that barely pays Tyrone off. 12. 12,000 pounds to give my daughter something precious to look forward to. You know, to. you know, haggling is making me feel cheap about... 15,000. Yeah, I'll stop you feeling cheap. Final offer. Take it or leave it. Yeah, I heard that. You're not serious you're going to give her 15 grand to do a bit of filing? Pro rata, she'll only be working a few days a year. Well, I want a pay rise, then. Uh, I thought you two were off for dinner. Well, go on, then. Sub as a tenner. 
<laughs> Does everyone think I'm made of money? I just ten quid and I get lost. And give us on the shifting these lads off the back of the wagon. Come on. Whoa. How's it there? Excited, scared, hoping again. We both are. We're looking into surrogacy. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean so. You know, Mum always used to say, when things are tough, try and imagine something in the future, something good, and try and head towards it. And yesterday I couldn't, because I thought I'd lost Izzy. But now, somewhere out there, I can see me, her, and our kid. And however hard things might get, I know that's where we're heading. You'd be great parents. Uh, too right. <laughs> you know, I know everyone's been giving me grief, but it'll blow over. You and Tommy will be fine, I promise. Thanks. I hope so. <laughs> See you later. I'll do it. You will? Yeah, I will. She's not here, pal. Where is she then? I don't know. Off with Owen. Probably celebrating being on a better salary than me. Hey? Well, I heard a magnum before, didn't I? I'll tell you what, mate. That bird's got some steel in her. But she's ruthless. Probably flutter her eyelashes out of her. Yeah, well, with skin, she's right to haggle. Oh, well, maybe now you'll lay off my back about the flat. Well, I brought her a sandwich, that's all. We put it in the fridge for me. Oh, she stinks. What is it? Piccadilly. Piccadilly and what? Come on, Piccadilly. It's all that was in the fridge, and Tina likes it. Oh, that's wrong. Hey, she's not pregnant, is she? No, we can barely afford to feed ourselves. I asked you about this, Jace. For what? Whip round for tired old day. Do you want to chip in as well? You know, might help sort things out between you and him. Way of an apology like. I'm nothing to apologise to him for. And I probably need the money more than they do. Couldn't help himself, that lad, does he? There you go. Well, that's very generous here. Well, what a giveaway. So need to come and get hold of, right? Tied on's game. There they are now. Ty! What's his name again? Who? The little boy, the little boy. Quick. Ruby. Ruby, ah. Huh? Ruby! She's just so gorgeous! <laughs> so, yeah. when we wet in the baby's head. <laughs> Guys, you just named the night in the pub and camp me in, yeah? Uh, there you go, mate. Had a bit of a whip round. A few quid just to get yourself some of it. Oh, cheers, Kev. There's no card with it, but I wrote down the name of everyone who's chipped in. We can get that baby monitor. Oh, you don't want to use that money for practical things. Got other money coming in for that. Should take it to the pub and wet Ruby's head good and proper. Ooh, so there's a plan. We've got some good mates. They should celebrate with you. Yeah, but this money should be for Ruby, really. Sound all that, Kev. Cheers. I'm made up for you, mate. I really am. Hi, T. Hi. Emergency chocolate, please, Dev. Yeah, listen, perhaps, Tina, you could find her if your boyfriend's actually here to buy something or if we're playing a one-man game of musical statues. Only I need to just lock up for five minutes. You all right? Tyrone and Kirsty still out there? No. She can't waste this opportunity to rub my nose in it. She's such a cow. Wow, she said now. You know, actually, I'm late for work. Come in the rovers and have a drink. No, I've got to go get my stitches out. Right, well, after then, I want to talk to you. With them lot wetting the baby's head in there, no, Tar. See you at home. Right, don't worry about it. We'll be fine. Trust me. OK? <laughs> ah. Did you just swear? No. You did? It's just difficult getting off the bus, that's all. You know you can get in them cars where you don't need to change your feet at all? Yeah. A girl at school. Her dad's in a wheelchair, right? But he still drives her in. Looks like an armor car, really. In fact, it's quite flash. You could get one instead of getting the bus. Oh, well, my leg's gonna get better, though, isn't it? You could still get a flash car. Yeah, chance to be a fine thing. Skint. With the money team is getting <laughs> from Owen. Yeah, that's just wages. It's not gonna get me a new car. It barely even covers the rent. No, the other money. For having his baby. <laughs> you what? Tina's having Gary and his baby. Hey? No, she's not. And if I hear you're going it's round true. to. Do you want me to go and tell Anna that her daughter's a liar? She knows all about it. I heard him talking at dinner. What exactly did you hear? Well, let go. C tell me. Tiana came round and said that she was going to have their baby. And Owen's paying. 
We're back in Coronation Street in half an hour. Fate, you can't just drop a bombshell like this and then walk off. When exactly did this happen? In our house. Don't worry. They weren't including me in the discussion. <laughs> you mean you weren't in the room? I was on the stairs. But there's nothing wrong with my hearing. <laughs> right, so you could have got the wrong end of the stick and misheard. Tina offered to have a baby for him, for money. They said they'll think about it. Do you swear to me? Yes. This, this is a terrible thing to lie about. You, you could get in big trouble for this. I'm telling the truth. smoking in pubs, isn't it? Eh? Very bad for a woman in your condition, smoking. Even passive smoking. My condition? Your biological clock must be ticking faster than I thought. It's more like a bomb. <laughs> what? It's certainly blown my mind. Tommy, look. You said you weren't even ready to have my baby, yet you're perfectly happy to have someone else's. Right, nothing has been agreed. Oh, so you did offer then? Faye didn't imagine what she heard. I can't believe she knows more about it than me. But I was going to talk to you about it. Go on, then. Talk. I'm listening. What on earth possessed you, T? And why? I mean, you know what really bugs me? Why didn't you ask me about it? Because I knew you wouldn't like the idea. Should we drink in your condition? I'm not pregnant. Yet. We don't even know it will work. All we've done is talk about the idea. Not to me. But then, why would you ask my opinion? Look, I haven't had a chance to tell you. I'm not keeping anything from you. I don't keep secrets. I haven't agreed to anything. I said I'll think about it. Why? But... Because I knew Gary in, is it? We're having problems. Oh, so what? You thought you'd come to the rescue? That's very noble. But, you know, I'd like to think I'd always help out a friend in need, but you're not even that close. No, but I don't feel sorry for him. But to carry a baby for him for nine months is ridiculous. I'm not just doing it for them, I'm doing it for us. There is no us where this is concerned. I wouldn't even consider it if we didn't need the money. <laughs> we can get by. We're desperate. Yeah, but selling your body is not the answer. <gasps> That's a horrible thing to say. Yeah, well, it's true. But I need to get back to work. We'll talk about this when I get home. She was dead over there, so she let me leave early. Got some cans. I'll go and get changed. I should have talked to you first, OK? I'm sorry. I feel ashamed. What? I mean, I'm the one that got us into all this mess, but you're prepared to do something as drastic as this. I should be touched. But I'm not. I feel disgusted, if I'm honest. Disgusted? That you'd even consider Tommy, it... Tommy, we've got no choice. When you get pregnant, to be our baby you carry it out. We've, we've talked about this. That's it, and this doesn't change anything. It changes everything. Apart from everything else. You'd already have one child. Yeah, that's not mine. Not biologically. <laughs> Gary seems to think I should just get used to the idea. Oh, Gary, so what you've been seeing? Yeah. <laughs> Left him in no doubt about how I feel. But I'm going into this with my eyes wide open, Tommy. And if you're worried about what people think... It's not about what anybody else thinks. It's about me and you. It's about what we can accept and what we can't accept. And this crosses the line for me. Well, I'm prepared to do anything legal to get out of this I've said no. Does that not count for anything? Does, does that not make you think again? I care what you think, of course I do, but... But if I say I'm going to do something... No, I won't go along with it. I can't. Then we've got a bit of a problem, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Because if you go through this regardless, don't expect me to be there for you.
coming. I mean it, Tina. They can find somebody else to have their baby and we can find money somewhere else. Where? Where? You tell me where. You know what mess we're in, Tommy. I'm doing this for us. Well, if you go ahead with it, that's the end of me and you. <laughs>